Hello everyone. Should I try to do uh, at the sort of the infancy of my channel really? Um, now this is a test video. Uh, and we, you must be able to tell what it is. Of course, it is Metal Gear Solid, and it is Twin Snakes. Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes on the GameCube. Now because this can get uh, flagged for copyright, I'm not going to show this intro. We're going to jump straight into the menu. As long as menu... Yep, here we go. So welcome to Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Um, a game that was basically done by uh, a, a different, different company. I uh, can't remember the name of it. Uh, Silver Sinkland Studios. Something Studios. But... Um, it was not. It's not Kaimi who done this. Um, wasn't Hideo Kojima, but they took Metal Gear Solid 2 engine and put it into Metal Gear Solid 1. And the game they produced, I thought, was a fair game on the series. I thought it's not. A, it's not a patch of the original by any stretch of the imagination. And I'll tell you one reason why it can't hold up the original because every single voice actor came back for this game with the exception of one voice actor one person did not return to reprise his role and I'm not going to reveal who that is just yet but we're going to start the game uh, again this is a test a test video just to make sure it runs right and make sure it looks right uh, start a new game of course and um, I think what we'll do it on is probably uh, probably for this first initial playthrough we'll do it on easy just so because this game is very difficult to run on this emulator I, I'm, I was struggling a little bit when I, when I tested it a few weeks back so we're gonna do it on easy uh, and we'll, we won't have um, Raider on during the search mode so it gives it an extra bit of hard things that are difficult and without further ado We'll start the game. The other thing they did was give Mei Ling um, a more American accent in this, from her Chinese accent in the original, and uh, Naomi, they, uh, Naomi, they actually gave uh, a more of a British accent. Um, but yeah, so one character didn't come back. But I'm not going to say who just yet. The cutscenes were changed in this. The whole, a lot of elements were changed, which made people not enjoy the game as much as maybe it deserved. And but the game itself, I think, is a good solid one for it. And if they could make a remake of this game with Hideo Kojima in the works, of course, it won't ever happen um, because. Kaimi sacked Hideojima and of course with Stay the recent she'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm just going to play up until we get into the tank hangar. That's what I'm going to do, because uh, we've got quite a lot of cutscenes and stuff like that. So the video is going to be a little bit long itself, but a lot of the of the of the cutscenes are different to the originals. situation snake looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up just as I expected you'll have to take the elevator to the surface but make sure nobody sees you if you need to contact me by codec the frequency is 140.85 when you want to use the codec push the pause button and then the a button when we need to contact you the codec will beep 
when you hear that noise. Press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. So this is not going to be a serious LP. This is this is simply a fun, uh, very casual uh, LP of the game where I show you guys uh, the differences. And immediately, one difference you see is the life gauge. The life gauge does not increase after every single boss battle in this game. Uh, it's the Metal Gear Solid engine. He's got his, uh, he can roll. He can uh, do, he can do basically everything he can do in the other game. In Metal Gear 2. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You'd better hide somewhere. So of course um, the guards can call reinforcements on this game, which can make the game a lot tougher, which is why I've opted to do So yeah, there are, there are a lot of um, differences, a lot of um, similarities, but also a lot of differences. Um, uh, I can't uh, quick uh, equip, fortunately. But this is when uh, the cutscene is going to come in. So I'm going to I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to let you enjoy it. I've been wanting to bring you this game it's ever since I started doing it before and my I was so, had lag issues. Horrendous lag issues last time I tried doing this game. Got re got really far to be honest, We've got very far through the game but just had to quit in the end. There was actually a fan made game of this being done, but kindly shut it down because they're assholes like that. Well, not all of them are assholes, probably just someone in there is an asshole because the way they treated Hidekojima is an absolute disgrace. Excellent Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. 
How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Heim D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright See? Light in the middle is American accent. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather. But if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance. So be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar. So contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here. And then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Mm, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the oh, way, you sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. 
Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with 5.56ers five and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. So there you have it, slightly different, and you can tell that immediately just by how it it goes. Now, what you want to do is Uh, one thing I'm going to try and do as well is actually get a lot of the dog tags, or as many as I can. Uh, again, uh, like uh, not like with Metal Gear 2, you don't have to get a number of dog tags in order to get the various items that you can get while if you complete the game. So that's the yeah. So you don't have to get all that. Hopefully this won't for that guard. Nope. I need what's in here. Now, I've not really done this before, but as a different sort of way of entry. A surveillance camera. Move him out of the way. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not going to believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That Hind will be coming back soon. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80.
Those mice are Alaskan field mice. <laughs> don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that are not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. I never showed off that conversation in the original. Of course, with doing that one, you don't get to hear the old conversation between Johnny and the other card. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Look at the radar! It's picking up the DARPA chief! He's the green dot! Hurry and rescue him! Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna save the game now. And we're gonna call this a video. Look at the radar! Come on, Snake, you Look at the Come on, Snake, you can do it! What? Right, let's save the game. And as always guys, thank you very very much for watching. Again, this is a casual playthrough. Not doing this for any kind of achievement or any kind of anything at all. Just purely it's just to make sure that you guys see this game and then maybe a, another time I'll do it on a higher difficulty where maybe some stealth as well which I haven't done stealth before but after doing the first original game of PS1 three times I might do this three times maybe a speed run maybe this is how you don't play again but on this version even though Dark Sidefield hasn't done this version I'm kind of hoping at some point he will decide to do this version as it is an up updated version and I think a better version in terms of graphics it's better in terms of the actual game it's not up it's, you, you can't compare it to the original you can't but I like it as a game and I think 
it holds its own. I've just contradicted myself. I don't. I don't think it's better than the original, but I think as its own game, it holds its own. And yeah, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. But I will be doing another Metal Gear Solid game before probably this game is done again. Uh, won't tell you what that is just yet, but we probably all know what it is. So until then, guys, thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you then. Ta-ta for now.